Tucked into the Sacramento Valley of Northern California, Yolo Land and Cattle Company was founded by Hank Stone in 1976. Running cattle on more than 7,400 acres at the home ranch, the operation today includes Hank's two sons and their families. I'm very fortunate to have two sons who've taken to it so well and are very proficient in what they do. And I, I find that to be very rare in agriculture today to have family members to continue the operation. Our basic philosophy has been that take care of the land and the land will take care of you. And we want to have a sustainable operation that, that benefits the families that operate the land, it benefits the wildlife that lives on the land, and benefits the livestock that live on the land. Through all of our efforts and our kids being here with us, it's given them an opportunity to le learn about stewardship and to learn about the environment and how important it is and why we do it. Um, and I know that our kids are starting to get it. Working to be environmentally and economically sustainable, the Stones have built a diversified operation that includes more than 700 cows and hay and crop production. In addition, with major cities nearby, the ranch includes an agritourism division, and they've even developed their own beef jerky and honey products. Each one of the family members brings something different into the, the atmosphere and into the, the business. We each have our strengths and it is nice to be able to kind of be on the creative side as far as the marketing and the distribution. With rainfall under 24 inches per year, the Stones have made extensive use of irrigated pasture. They reuse rinse water that comes from a local tomato cannery to intensively graze their herd and hold them off native pasture at critical times. This year is probably one of the worst we've faced since we've owned the ranch just because of the drought conditions. It's pretty tough when you don't have water to try to make these things happen. To manage their rangelands, the Stones have added cross-fencing to implement rotational grazing. They've worked with Dow AgroSciences to develop herbicides to control yellow star thistle and other invasive weeds. And they've partnered with NRCS on a number of projects, including the restoration of native plants and the use of solar power to pump water. Around here we have a drought six months of the year. Uh, so everything that's planted, the native trees and shrubs have to have supplemental water through a drip system and the Stones um, do a very good job of participating in our uh, cost share programs to uh, establish these native trees, these native shrubs. We have been blessed with wonderful partners over the years or we wouldn't be able to do a fraction of what we get done out here. It's encouraging to see that things are evolving around these ponds and that is actually, is actually increasing the wildlife density on the ranch. Perhaps most impressive is the decision the Stone family made to place their home ranch in a conservation easement held by the California Rangeland Trust, meaning this land will always be a working cattle ranch. That's probably something I'm the most proud of. I'm, I'm a, a, a land conservationist, great, great supporter of protecting ag land. So to me, that is the ultimate measure you can take to protect your property is to put it in a conservation easement. I think that it's going to save some of the better California rangeland and in areas like we are close to population density areas that to get tremendous pressure for development. And like I tell everyone, if we didn't do that 10 years from now, you'd see houses and lights all over this mountain. Whether it's protecting rangeland from development, raising high quality cattle, or sharing the story of ranching with visitors, it's clear each member of the Stone family is doing their part to keep the Yolo Land and Cattle Company sustainable now and in the future. Well, I'm proud of what my sons have done, the, the changes we've made, the things we're trying to do. I'm very proud of what our family has done on the ranch. Uh, my dad and my grandpa and my uncle worked incredibly hard. And so our hope is, my hope is to keep this place as a working cattle ranch and keep a viable working cattle industry that can support these type of ranches. We are simply short-term tenants on, on this planet, and we have an obligation to leave the ranch in better condition for our next generation, and that's what this is all about.